We are on one of the most unique road trips we've ever been on, taking us through parts of the world that make us say, we can't believe what we are seeing is Scotland. <laughs> what is that? You are so cute. Hi, we're Stephen, wow. Jess and Little Hunter. This week we'll be hopping on ferries, taking us out to some of the most beautiful parts of this rugged country seen ancient stones used for rituals and historical castles for the wealthy, all whilst taking in the natural beauty of this country. So today is officially day one of our Scotland adventure. We got in late last night into Glasgow and this morning we picked up our rental car and today we are driving an hour to the coast to head to our first island. First of all, it feels like so long since I've had to wear a jumper. And second of all, fairies are totally underrated. There's already a fun start to this adventure. And like that, we're off. See you later, mainland Scotland. We're gonna be doing about three days of fairy hopping. So this is gonna be good. So we actually found it to be very reasonable. We're catching pretty much three or four fairies over the next few days. For our car and all the fairies, two adults and a kid, it was just over 70. So a very reasonable way for you guys thinking of renting a car from the after Scotland and just want to see one of the many, many islands. I think there's something like 900 islands in Scotland. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Have you got it? Yeah, got it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's warmer than I thought. It's so much water. Should we have a look? Oh, there's <laughs> Can you see any dolphins? No? Underwater. You see some dolphins? No. You can't. So, welcome to the Isle of Arran. This is going to be our first island we're going to be exploring while in Scotland. It took about an hour on the ferry. And our first spot is we've decided to do a little bit of a hike out to Matry Moor. Now, this is so historical. Perfect spot to start your time here in the Isle of Arran. Uh, look. What is it? A sheep. This is so historical and symbolic. So about 4,500 years ago, see these poles? There were wooden poles erected here. They replaced them with these incredible stone poles and wow. It's kind of cool because there's no fences. You can kind of walk around, enjoy it, take it all in. And if you're a hunter, play hide and seek. See you. Let me give me. Hide from dad, hide from dad. Hmm, where is Hunter? <laughs> Where's Hunter gonna go? Hmm, is Hunter over here? No. Yeah, <laughs> big <laughs> It's really cool because on the hike out here, you're just in nature. It hits you straight in the face. There are just sheep walking around everywhere. We're just in the farmlands. They look really cool. They definitely give off like Stonehenge vibes. And you guys are probably wondering why they built this. Now, archaeologists don't 100% know, but they think it's for rituals, ceremonies, and for burials. It's just really cool to start our day with something so historical. But there is more to see, and the weather is actually pretty good for here in Scotland. Just stop for a quick snack. We could not go there. Best name ever for a sandwich shop on a roll. <laughs> Just got some picnic tables by the beach and we've got a pretty good sandwich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Baba. Cheers, Dad. This little quick stop for a sandwich ended up extending. There's someone in his little wee fish shop selling fish out of the back of his van. Got an old bridge, got a little bit of a river coming down to the ocean. Nice little stop. So we put our little food in our hand like this. Come on, bunny. Look, if you keep your hand out, look, it's eating out of mommy's hand. Come in. I got <laughs> Good girl, honey. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Hello. Hello, bunny. Hello. Cool. I'm A Highland crew? <laughs> a Highland Coup. Do you want to see a real Highland Coup? What is that coming? Is that a Highland Coup? Mommy, hi, girl. Don't come with me. Highland Coup is coming to you? Yeah. 
He's a big buddy. Who calls this? So we've come out to a little farm. There's an experience you can do here. You come to see a Highland Koo. That's kind of cool. They've got like ancient Celtic, like an ancient Celtic species. And as you can see, fluffy cows, they have such a thick coat to deal with the extreme cold that Scotland can get during the winter time. And they're just obviously the most adorable cows ever. And they have the most adorable cow babies. <laughs> I'll put some photos up because it's just this big fluff ball. <laughs> Goats? They, they want food. They want food. Look, show. You're showing the goats. <laughs> I'm a goat. Should I feed them some more? Okay, um, maybe. Oh, you want to help? Okay. Yeah, 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 yummy. Yeah, they think it's yummy. Do you want to grab some food? Yeah. You put your hand out like this, and they eat it. Okay, mummy's gonna go Highland Coo. Highland Coo. Do you like this one? Look at that. <laughs> Hunter, did you see? Look at this. Oh my gosh, its tongue's so rough. Is it? Yeah. The goats are way more gentle. <laughs> you have the coolest hair. <laughs> you are so cute. They're so fluffy, Steve. Gobble, 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 Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so Hi, buddy. buddy. Do you want some food? You're so cute. Oh. Hi. I'm a boy. I'm a bunny. Hello. <laughs> bunny. Is it bunny? Is the, oh, bunny. The, the bunny. The, the bunny. They're called alpaca. Alpaca. That's right. This is Charlie. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you're so cute. Hi, Charlie. Charlie, you don't like it? You like it. Hello. I got a clever turkey below us. Hi, turkey. Say, so watch out, turkey. It's <laughs> chickens outside. I We've made our way to the top of the island and we've been greeted to a very old castle. Hunter's first time, I think, seeing a proper castle. This was built in the 1200s, was built as a homestead. And then a couple of hundred years later in the 1400s, they upgraded it. That's where you get these little pointy bits, the tall tower. So it's definitely gone through some transformations. Of course, now it is in ruins, but almost like the cherry on top of the island. You've got this really cool ancient ruins with this beautiful view behind it. So we've come down to Hori and there they had a fish bar. It's called Mara's Fish Bar. The food looked so good, so we had to grab some. Hunter was snoozing, so I snuck in. Oh my goodness, Steve. Okay, I do get a lot of food. Yeah. Open this one. Oh. It's called Caribbean Curry Mussels. <gasps> it's smoking, like steaming still. Wow. Looks good. Seeing as we're on the island, I feel like we had to go for seafood. And then this wow. is cake. Does it look good? And they say they cook it in a bag with veggies. Oh. Yum. Yeah. This is like the coolest takeaway fish shop ever. And then I got some bread that we can oh, dip. Bread. Yeah, I got bread. <laughs> I feel like Hunter's most excited about the bread. And Hunter, look what I got. Jebbies. Jebbies. <laughs> Let's try this. Mm. That is amazing, That's Steve. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. It's like a Thai green curry, you were saying? A Caribbean coconut curry. Oh, I see potato wedges. Yummo, Hunter. Look at this fish. Want to taste? I feel like I'm about to make everyone very hungry. Look, all the fish is underneath. Oh, yum. Looks amazing. Oh my gosh, Steve. <gasps> that fish is so good. All right, let's try a mussel. Is it good? I don't think I've ever had like Thai green curry mussel. It's oh. not Thai green curry, Caribbean <laughs> coconut curry. Oh, good. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. Free the feet. <laughs> ah, that's Nice. <laughs> Is that nice? It's like the first time in her life she's having to wear shoes. It's a big rock. 
You want to throw it? Where are you going to throw it? In they go. Whoa. You want daddy to throw one? Look at this. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ready, set. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Let's see how far. Okay. Wait. Whoa. Oh, so good. <laughs> this one. Uh oh. It's such like a polite game. <laughs> You want a beep? You put it here. Beep. You did it. I got mommy. Here you go, Baba. Whoa. Oh, wow. Wait ah. a minute, look at this. You can spy on people. <laughs> Do you want to look at the beach? Oh, wow, the views are so nice. Mommy, it's muddy. Let me see if I can see some sheep. What do you see? Sheep doggy. You see the doggy? We just checked into our hotel. We're staying at the oh, Glen Isle oh, Hotel. I am muddy. Right on the water, Hunter. We need to look out for some sheep. Are you ready? Thank you, Doctor. This is a hot chocolate. Yeah, it's a little yummy, yummy. Yummy in your tummy. Bye, Daddy. <laughs> Morning. 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 <laughs> so this morning we've driven up now to the top of the island to a different port, and we're sitting in line waiting for our ferry to come and get us. We are heading out to another spot of Scotland. Hunter, what just arrived? Oh, the ferry. The ferry's here. Yeah. Do you want to go on it? Yes, ship fire. Oh, why? Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> this one's definitely a lot smaller than the last one we jumped on. And a lot quicker. It's like 30 minutes. So today we're actually staying on a different island, but check into our hotel isn't a four, so we decided to jump on a ferry to this cute little fishing village. It's called Tarvert, and we're basically going to spend the morning checking out little shops, going and finding a bite to eat, and just seeing what like a quaint little Scottish village is like. Um, Look. Is it your Highland crew? Yes. Look. There's a sheep. Look at the little sheep. And the lady. She got it from the lady. Ah. <laughs> Bottle. Cheers, Hunter. Cheers, Dad. Look, I got you a little prize. Do you want to see? What's this? Found the cutest book. I couldn't resist. We've been starting to teach Hunter numbers. Scotland counting book. I'll show you my favourite page. <laughs> what is that? Scottish people in kilts. Little Scottish dogs. How cute is that? Oh, who are those? Are they the Highland Coos? How many are there? One, two, three. Cutest book ever. Hunters having a snooze. We're saying goodbye, catching our next ferry to Portavadi. Super fun. They just keep getting smaller and smaller. I'm expecting our final one just to be like a one man raft. <laughs> And Hunter, I've heard that here they have hot tubs hot and a tub. big outdoor heated pool. That is what I'm excited pool about. Day. Pool day! Pool day! Oh, <laughs> are you black, black. What are you? Black. Are you a duck? Black. 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 me black. Pool day! Look at that. Do you see the ocean? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Whoa. Oh, this is so nice to have like this infinity pool out here just looking out at the rugged Scotland. <laughs> Looks like a storm's coming in, but still, nothing better than swimming in a pool in the rain. Good morning, everybody. Another day in beautiful Scotland. <sighs> so this morning we jumped on a five minute ferry and we've made it to the Isle of Butte. And I have to say, so far, it's pretty beautiful. <laughs> Had to say it. And this morning we're actually heading out to a mansion. 
<laughs> lunch is very excited. So our first stop before lunch, we come to a place called Mont Stewart, and it's a 19th century mansion, and they've kept it in pristine condition with original bedrooms, and we're going to go for a bit of an explore, hopefully learn a bit more about the history of Scotland. And I see it's a sunny day today, and we're just going to enjoy the weather here in the beautiful gardens. Hey, look. What is that? Like a golden flower. Wow, that's pretty cool. The baby house. <laughs> Does this look like a very fancy bed? Yeah. Super fancy. That looks a bit different, doesn't it? Yeah, look. What's that? Is it a toilet? So we're coming to the Grand Marble Hall and it's crazy to see how the other half lived just not even that long ago. They have celebrations, parties, weddings, and you can look up at this stunning roof. Look at the stars. So we took our final ferry and we are back here in Glasgow. We dropped off our rental car, checked into our hotel, and now we have all day to go and explore this city. And I know it doesn't look like a city right now, but that's what I love about Scotland, is that even in the cities, you can find nature. So Glasgow, pleasantly surprised, has a lot of free things you can do around the city. So we're gonna show you some of them. First spot we've come to is the Calvin Grove Art Museum. In this absolutely stunning building, free entry, you can do a donation, and you can come around and see some incredible pieces of work. Always looks interesting when you're in such a historical, beautiful looking building, and then you have like contemporary art mixed in there. So it definitely stands out, makes you look. We've got 30 odd floating heads just in here. Hey, the BB down. Room. I got a full like taxidermy giraffe. It's called a cheetah. Cheetah. Yeah, a cheetah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you see a crocodile? Wow. Hello. 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 <laughs> so we've done a lot of walking around, a lot of exploring the city of Glasgow. So we actually feel a little bit hungry and Seeing as we were in Scotland, we've been here for a few days already and we haven't gone to a tea room so we come across this place called the Hidden Lane Tea Room and it is in this little hidden lane off the main street and we heard the tea room does really good homemade scones. Is that yummy? Yummy! <laughs> scones? And the cream's thicker here so it kind of makes sense. It's almost like a butter. <laughs> How much does it feel like we've just stepped into Hogwarts? <laughs> so we've just come to the Glasgow University. It's about 550 years old. And even though they didn't film any of the Harry Potter movies here, you can just see a total inspiration. We're just walking around there. There's a graduation going on at the moment. I'm like, wow, imagine going to school here. It would be absolutely stunning. Another completely free place. Oh, Echo's in here. <laughs> We're at the Glasgow Botanic Gardens. <laughs> Can you go, Echo? They <laughs> come. Loves this place. <laughs> it was set up in the 1800s, 1817. Wow. So beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. It feels very like Victorian. Very Victorian. Got your marble statues. Got a lot of plants around. So it's our final night here in Glasgow before we get a new rental car and head out to explore more of the Highlands. And we thought, you know what, we've been in Scotland, we have to go out for a pub. So we've come to the Duke's Umbrella, and I kid you not, come inside. It's this incredibly beautiful, rustic pub. I mean, look where we are. There's someone playing live music. We got some drinks. Hunter's had such a day, she's passed out. So we just get a little bit of a date night. Cheers, Steve. What have you gone for? Like a lemon? I don't remember what it was. A ginger thing. Something really cool about this pub is they bring out two menus. One whole menu full of like traditional pub meals. Another one 
for the traditional pub meals, but veggie options. So it means that you could get like veggie bangers and mash, as Stephen got. I also saw that on the menu they had haggis, neeps, and taddies. Do you reckon that's how they say it? Never tried haggis before. Neeps is turnips, and taddies is potatoes. <laughs> and I think you're going for like a rustic fine dining with comfort food, which I'm all about. I'm stealing some of your mash, Steve. Bangers and mash with gravy. I haven't had this in a long time. <gasps> I feel like Scotland would do mash good. Yeah. They do mash good. <laughs> and look at this. The guy recommended this one. It's like a, I'm going to say it was like a cod. Yep. With a curry sauce. It smells so good. Curry? It's like a coconut curry. Oh, like nice. a fish coconut curry with the taddies. Both have to have taddies. I feel like I'm <laughs> saying it wrong. Is it taddies? They'll let me know if I'm saying it wrong. But look, the crispy skin. You're gonna to wanna to steal my dish. Yeah, it's good. It's delicious. Oh my gosh, this place has such good food. Samwise Gamgee says it's taters. Oh, so do you reckon it's ta okay. taties? Scottish people actually eat haggis. Kind of freaks me out. Like there's haggis on all the breakfast menus and everything. I don't really know what it is. Is it like sheep's intestines with stuff inside it or something? And black pudding? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my taties. <laughs> <laughs> I just realised we had sticky pudding and we didn't even film it. <laughs> sticky toffee. Oh yeah, sorry, I keep calling it that sticky toffee pudding. It was so good. It's the so food good. here is very good and she slept the whole time. <laughs> <laughs>